What's going on guys? I got some new ammo to try out today. So I've seen these on Amazon. Um, they're a bit cheaper than the Riot Balls. <clears throat> they're advertised as 9.8 grams. Uh, I'm assuming it's a steel ball inside with uh, PVC coating. It just has white coating on this bag. These are from the Lambid store. Uh, they also have like 3.6 gram nylon balls in a lot of different colors. I think they have, uh, oh yeah, they do. They have 50 cal nylon balls also. These are uh, relatively new. I think I've seen them like a couple months ago and I've just been putting off buying them, but um, I decided to buy them finally. They had like a 10% off um, promotion thing like on Amazon. So you just threw them in your car and then you can click... Uh, add the 10% off uh, promo thing. It's not even a code or anything. Or if it is a code, it's a, it's a bunch of weird uh, letters and numbers and stuff. But um, it should be on there. I think they were $23.99. And with the 10% off, they were like $21 or something. Um, or some random, like $21.80 or something like that. Because it's 10% of $23. So it's like $2.20 off or something. $2.30, I'm not sure. But I need to weigh them to verify how much they weigh and check the uh, bore size on them, which wasn't advertised. It just says a 68 caliber. So I'm going to turn this bad boy on and get a uh, cap or something. I'll be right back. All right. So zero that out. Um, so yeah, they're advertised at 9.8 grams. I noticed they have like the little, uh, these little rings on them. Uh, like right here and here. So maybe that's like a production thing where they have it. Um, basically, I think they're centering the weight. Hopefully that's what that is. 9.87. So that's one of them. I'll weigh like 10 of them. 9.89. So they're almost 9.9 .9 grams. 9.88. Nine point eight eight, nine point eight six, yeah, nine point eight six, nine point eight nine. Uh, it was twenty five of them in this package, and I counted, and there was twenty five. Some random person said they got like six, or something, and had a picture of a bag with six balls in it. That, that sucks, but mine had twenty five. It, it was exactly what it was advertised at nine point eight seven. So that's six of them. So, if, I mean, if you really want to get super precise, they're 9 point averaging, about 9.87 so far. This is the first one that's actually been 9.9 .9 on this uh, little balance. 9.88. 9.88. So this is uh, number 10 right here. 9.89 So I don't know. I'll just say they're 9.9 because they're they're almost 9.9 .9, But I could measure in 9.88 because it's kind of like what they're more consistent at So when I do my velocity Joule stuff, I'll use 9.88 because that's kind of what they are uh, doing currently I'll Turn that off um and then I got my uh, ball sizer. So you stick your balls in here and you see how big their balls are. So 679, 682, 684, 685. 679, no go. 682, I barely tapped it. I'm barely tapping this. And so I'd say there's 682 or like 681 or something, you know, because they fit in the 682 ball um, size thing. So 682, I guess. So it's not terrible. I didn't think they would be like 684 or 685 or something like that. I was thinking they'd be like 680. So yeah, they're going through this one pretty good. Nope. Yep. Nope. So 682 on this ball size thing. 
I'll check it with the caliper, but uh, yeah. All right, that one got away from me. So these do feel like a PVC coating. This is not not a rubber coating, so that's good. They aren't going to make a bunch of friction uh, down the barrel. Um, I have my uh, Salt Supply S2 outside. I'm going to shoot that with these right now. It's been outside for about 10 minutes. So and so has the uh, um, CO2 cartridge. So it's just chilling out there. I'll try these with um, these ammos. I'll try these with uh, a lot of my other 68 caliber stuff with the Saber, with the HDR 68, with the M17, which I got from Sean. So thank you very much, sir, once again. Um, Sean from Less Sleeper for Dummies. And um, let's just see what they are measuring at. 17.24 I'll try a couple more. This is a cheap caliper, so it may not be super accurate. This thing was like 10 bucks or something. Or like 13. So it's not an expensive caliper by any means. 680 and a half. 17.3 almost. 17.28, 680. So yeah, I'd, I'd say they're probably, they're pretty much like 680 or 680 and a half. They did not fit in the 679 bore size thing, but they fit in the 682 relatively easily. Like I barely even have to tap it and it'll pop through. So 9.88 grams and uh, 680 um, on the bore size. So I'll see what these do in the S2. I'm gonna go outside right now. All right, you guys, this has been in direct sunlight for about 10 minutes. Um, I put it out here at 5.46, uh, almost 15 minutes now. Put it out here about 5.45, 5.46. It's pretty warm out here today. It's probably like 87 in the in this uh, sunlight that I'm in, 88 degrees Fahrenheit, so 28 Celsius around there. I'm just going to load up uh, two magazines. I'll shoot all the air out of this cylinder that I use, but... Here's one S2 magazine, here's two S2 magazines. These are those 9.88 gram balls from Lambid store. The ones I just got right now. Um, and yeah, 680 on the bore size essentially. And I'm just hot loading one in the breech, putting this one back. So now there's six in this currently. Uh, five in the other mag so it'll be 11 shots continuous before I have to start reloading um, I'll go through these two mags without clearing out the box just to see if they can uh, withstand the abuse of at least like 20 to 23 joules whatever this decides to shoot at today uh, and yes just to remind you it's pretty hot out here and uh, I'm just gonna puncture this and start shooting no overcharging or waiting for it or anything like that. I'm just gonna fix my camera really quick and um, start firing and puncture this thing. So there's the S2, it's loaded, punctured, and uh, shooting. <clears throat> 236. Two thirty. 220, 212, 204, last shot because I hot loaded one, 194. So these are pretty heavy. Um, I wasn't expecting the S2 to, you know, be shooting these out like at 300 feet per second or nothing because they're so heavy. And, uh, Here's the second magazine with relatively no uh, recharge period. 198. 188. 170. 148. You're dying quick. Last shot. 114. So since it's hot out here, pretty sure it pretty much expelled all the gas. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three
three that shot 14, 15. But those would have been like super slow if they would have even registered at all. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, Lambid store balls. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper than buying riot balls. I think the riot balls, 25 of them, at least for me in the US from Amazon, it's uh, $32 for 25 riot balls. Um, so this was like 20, with the promo thing that was like offered by Amazon with, with it was just said like, oh, hey, there's a 10% off thing. Uh, these were like 2180 or something like that, 22 bucks or something. So that's it for this video. I'll be using those in the uh, HDR 68 because I got it right over there. So next video will be uh, that. So I'll be right back or I'll see you guys next time. Here are the balls I shot and they all survived. No cracks, no uh, deformations. They all look fine to me. So we're good. So yeah, uh, I'll keep shooting these and see how they do in the other launchers.